I'd like to start out with a verse addressed to Christians from 1 Thessalonians 4, verse 17. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord forever being forever being eternally in the clouds. We'll meet the Lord and we'll be with him forever. That's a great thing for Christians. And here's another verse that has to do with the timing of such a thing. Revelation 3, verse 10 and 11. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold, I come quickly, Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man may take thy crown. This is ad uh, addressed to Christians. He will keep us Christians from the hour of temptation, which is the great tribulation. It, the hour of temptation and his event not an ongoing tribulation that we have now, tribulations. It shall come upon all the world. In other words, those who are not taken, they will try them that will dwell here still. So it's not going to be the, the end of the world. It's not going to be the final judgment because the tribulations are coming upon them doesn't say it's going to be a judgment. It says it's going to be tribulations. And it's going to be quick. Hold fast to what we have so we, no man will take our crown. As you recall, there's a crown given to those who eagerly look for the Lord's appearance. So it's clear Christians are not going to go through the tribulations. It's clear that it's going to be a pre-tribulation rapture. And then there's going to be seven years of earthly distress, unlike has never been seen before. It's not going to be the church. You won't want to be here for that. You can't imagine how bad things are going to be at that time. A lot of it is spelled out in the Bible if you care to look it up. Some want to come to this channel and argue about Bible doctrine and specifically those who question the rapture. But there's a Bible prophecy about them as well. 2 Peter 3, verses 3 through 5. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking in their own lusts and saying, where is the promise of the, his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. It takes faith to believe in the scriptures as written, especially in verses concerning the rapture. Those who reject the rapture are playing right into the great delusion that will fool the whole world, most of the whole world that remains. But we've heard this for so long. Where's the rapture? Where's the rapture? It's not real. And the people think that just because something hasn't changed, it's not going to. We've seen a lot of first things happen already recently. But this is going to be supernatural and unlike anything you've ever seen. Jesus is going to take Christians out of the world before this tribulation begins in an event known as the rapture. Become a Christian. Everyone who becomes a Christian does not regret it. The only way 
into God's heaven is through Jesus Christ. Pray to accept him now before it's too late. Please pray and accept him. You have nothing to lose. You have everything to gain, eternal life through Jesus Christ and escape from eternal torment. So please consider it. Don't let another day go without it. 